Constellation, Science 5, Quarter 4, Week 7 to 8. Most essential learning competency identify the star patterns that can be seen during particular times of the year. You have learned in the previous lesson the moon has eight phases, namely new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, quarter waxing gibus, full moon, waning gibus, last quarter, and waning crescent. The moon goes these eight phases in 29 and one half days. The period it takes for the moon to complete the phases is called month. Do you know that the moon does not produce its own light? The moon only reflects the light coming from the sun, which is one particular example of a star. The sun is an average-sized star, and it is the star closest to the earth. That is why we can see it. Now we learn more about, or now we will learn about the stars, particularly the group of stars that form definite patterns in the sky. Constellations. These are group of stars that form clear pattern in the sky. The Asian people first observed these groups of stars as outlines of animals and other objects. They found it easier to locate and remember constellations when they tried to find a clear and particular pattern the way a group of stars are engaged. For example, in the northern hemisphere, they have observed a group of stars which they thought looked like a dragon and so they named this group as Draco. In the southern hemisphere, they notice a group of stars that seemingly form a cross and so they call it as Southern Cross. The group of stars that form a clear pattern in the sky. Some of the known constellations and stars. The International Astronomical Union or IAU made a list of official modern constellations and there are 88 constellations on the list and many of these were discovered by the ancient Greeks. We have Ursa Major. It resembles a big bear and it is the third largest constellation in the night sky. It includes the Big Dipper, which is composed of seven stars. The Al-Kid, Al-Kor, Mizar, or appears as one, Al-Yoth, Nigris, Pekda, Merak, and Dub. Ursa Minor. It is a little bear containing a group of stars known as the Little Dipper. The handle of the deeper serves as the little bear's tail and the deeper scalp is the bear's thigh. The most famous star in the Ursa Minor is the Polaris. Polaris is also called as the North Star. Some constellations are named after Greek mythology legends. Two of them are Cassiopeia, the Queen, and the Orion, the Hunter. Cassiopeia. It consists of five stars that seem to form the letter W. It represents the queen, Cassiopeia of the mythical kingdom of Ethiopia. Orion. It is one of the most recognizable constellations in the night sky and is visible throughout the world. Three of its stars from its belt, Orion's belt, is also an asterism. On Orion's right shoulder is a red supergiant star called Betelgeuse, a bluish-white star called Rachel, is found on Orion's left knee. The Polar Constellation There are some constellations that can be seen only during certain seasons of the year. These are called North Polar Constellations and South Polar Constellations. The constellations nearest the center of the Earth can be seen throughout the year. The people living in the Northern Hemisphere see constellations different from those living in the Southern Hemisphere. North Polar Constellation Some of the North Polar Constellations include the following, the Cassiopeia, Cepheus, Ursa Major, and Ursa Minor. Cepheus is the 27th largest constellation in the northern sky. It is faint, but its definite shape makes it easy to locate if you look in the north on August and September evenings. 
Some of the South Polar constellations include the following, Carina, Centaurus, and Crooks. Carina. Carina constellation is located in the southern sky. Carina used to be part of the much larger constellation Argonavis along with the constellation Puppis and Bella. The constellation represented the mythical ship Argo. Centaurus. Centaurus is one of the largest constellation in, constellations in the sky. It represents the centaur, the half-man, half-horse creature in Greek mythology. Centaurus contains two of the top ten brightest stars in the sky, Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri. The constellation Crux, or the Cross, is a constellation centered on the four stars in the southern sky in a bright portion of the Milky Way. It is among the most easily distinguished constellations. The brilliant cross is formed by bright stars, making it one of the most familiar sights to southern hemisphere observers. Usefulness of constellation. Since ancient times, constellations are always helpful to people. They use the appearance of certain stars to forecast the weather. When stars are visible, they expect fair weather, but when stars are hidden behind the clouds, the clouds, the next day may be cloudy or rainy. Constellations are helpful to navigators too. Navigators use their knowledge in constellation in the conduct of their work. When they lost at sea, they refer to Polaris, which is in Ursa Minor. They use Polaris as their guiding star. Polaris is a fixed star. It is located at the north. By using Polaris as guide, it is easy to find south, east, west, and a west direction. For our first learning task, you need to prepare the materials. And you may also use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult member of the family if needed. Materials, black colored paper or black cloth and chalk. Procedures, analyze the north and south polar constellations that can be seen only during certain seasons of the year. Draw one example of North Polar Constellation and one example of South, South Polar Constellation and answer the following questions. What particular constellation have you drawn? How can you describe such constellation? How can you differentiate North Polar Constellation and South Polar Constellation? And why do you think the people living in North Hemisphere see constellation differently compared to those living in the Southern Hemisphere? And these are the answers. We have the Cepheus and Carina. Cepheus is the 27th largest constellation in the northern sky. It is faint, but its definite shape makes easy to locate if you look in the north on August and September evenings. Carina Constellation. Is located in the southern sky. Carina used to be part of the much larger constellation Argonavis along with the constellation Puppis and Vela. The constellation represented the mythical ship Argo. For number two, the five northern constellations visible from most locations nor north of the equator throughout the year are Cassiopeia, Cepheus, Drago, Ursa Major, and Ursa Minor. The three southern circumpolar constellations visible from most locations in the southern hemisphere are Carina, Centaurus, and Crux. For number three, the Earth spins west to east, which is why constellations seem to rise from the east. Some constellations shift seasonally, while others are unique to the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. Another activity, learning test number two. Title, Debugging superstition, Superstitions About the Stars. Materials, band paper, and ball pen. Procedures, interview some members of your family or your community, rather, about the superstitious belief associated with the stars which they believe in. 
and ask them if they know things which are related to the stars. Fill in the superstitions column with the responses of your interviewees about their beliefs and practices. Using science references materials, look for pieces of evidences that debug or remove the superstitious belief of your interviewees and write them in the scientific explanation column and answer the following questions. Based on the gathered data among some members of your community, what are some beliefs and practices associated with the stars they believe in? Based on the responses of your interviewees, how do beliefs about the stars affect their lives? As a learner, how would you convince them that their belief and practices associated with the stars have no scientific evidences or evidence or basis? And this is an example of an answer. Farmers and others have used the stars to predict the weather since ancient times. One superstition warns that there will be a poor harvest when the evening star is low in the sky. While the appearance of the cirrus or the dog star, one of the brightest stars in the sky means drought is on the way. If you're wondering whether it will rain in the coming days, check out the constellation Cancer. For thousands of years, people have relied on Cancer's beehive star cluster to predict a storm. Superstition has it that when the sky is clear but the beehive is difficult to discern, rain is sure to follow. The appearance of certain stars to forecast the weather when stars are visible, expect fair weather, but when stars are hidden behind the clouds, the next day may be cloudy or rainy. For the answers in the questions a while ago, star predict weather. Farmers use the stars as their guide to predict weather. It affects when to or not to harvest. Tell them that there is no evidence or scientific explanation about superstitious belief. For learning task number three, identify each constellations that can be seen. For learning task number three, identify each constellations that can be seen at a particular time of the year. On the box provided before each number, draw a heart eyes emoji if it is a north polar constellation and wow emoji if it is a south polar constellation. Number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, and these are the correct answers. For number one, wow emoji, two heart emoji, three heart emoji, four heart emoji, and five wow emoji. For learning task number four, explain the information that can be obtained from the location of constellations in the sky. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Level of, level of performance for the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by five or, five or more supporting details. Three, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by four supporting details. Two, the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by three supporting details and one the main idea is clear and precise and it is supported by two supporting details an example of an answer to learning test number four constellations are a group of stars they were named after objects animals and people long ago the star constellations that can be seen in the night sky depend on the observer's location and season and they change throughout the year your location on Earth also determines what stars and constellations you see and how high they appear to rise in the sky. The Northern Hemisphere is always point pointing in a different direction than the Southern Hemisphere. This means that the stargazers, for example in the Philippines, get a slightly different view of the sky and can see a few different constellations than those in other countries. To summarize our lesson, constellation, we have the North Polar Constellations and South Polar Constellation. North Polar are Cassiopeia, Cepheus, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, while South, South Polar Constellation, Carina, Centaurus, and Crooks. For learning test number 5 on the space provided, write true if the statement is correct and false if not. 
Number one, Orsa Major resembles a big bear and it's the third largest constellation in the sky. Number three, number, number two, the constellation are a group of stars that form clear patterns in the sky. Three, some of the North Polar constellations include the following, Carina, Centaurus, and Brooks. And for number four, Centaurus represent the centaur, the half-man, half-horse creature in Greek mythology. And number five, since ancient times, constellations are not helpful to people. And these are the correct answers. Number one, true, two true, three false, four true, and five false. And that ends our lesson for Science 5, quarter 4, week 7 to 8. Thanks for listening and happy learning. Bye-bye!